Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new Cinema 4D video about the Metal Ball updates in R17. So if you're into making weird gooey animations of stuff leaking and blending together, there's some really cool updates to the Metal Ball settings in R17. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and take a quick look. So here we are in R17 with a Meta Ball setup and we'll go through how to set this up from scratch and go over some of the new features that allow us to do this and have a little more control over creating Meta Ball animations. So I'll just make a new file so we can make this from scratch. And how a Meta Ball works is we're gonna create a couple of spheres here which I can just quickly do by grabbing a sphere and then I'll duplicate this one by holding Command or Control while I'm dragging and just make a couple different size spheres. Now what we want to do to get this to work is go to our commands here and get meta ball and we're going to drop all of these in and it looks kind of weird at first and if we put on our display guides by pressing NB we can kind of see what's happening and what we want to do is turn our editor subdivisions and render down quite a bit maybe to like 10 and then what's going to happen is depending on how close these are they'll start to kind of blend together. And this is controlled by this whole value. So what this will do is change the proximity of when they'll start to blend together. Now this is pretty basic and doesn't look too interesting. So how we can further refine this is on any of these, we can grab a Cinema 4D tag Meta Ball. And you'll notice this has the same strength and we can adjust it further for just this one object. So if we have a couple objects with different settings, we can get a little more organic and different results. So I'll duplicate that tag by holding command and dragging it to this other sphere. And I'll turn that one up a bit and I'll put it on this last sphere and turn this down. And you can see that now, depending on how close they are, they'll start to blend together a little differently. Now the new setting that we can do is pretty cool. Let's grab a cube real quick and I'll drag that over here. And I want to add additional segments because that's important to what we're going to see here. So if we drag this cube into our Meta Ball, it's not quite going to look right. It's going to look a little weird. And if we drag it over, it looks kind of like a big blob. But what we can do now is add another Cinema 4D Meta Ball tag to this cube. And this new option is this type. And by default, it would be sphere because that's what we'd be doing before. But if we change this to line, it's going to create this Meta Ball geometry based on the line, so that's why this segments option was important. And if we turn down the radius, it's gonna change how thick those are. So you can do some pretty cool little organic renderings by changing this setting. And if we go to our cube, it's controlled by our segment. So if we wanted less or more, we could change that. So let's just put the segments back by four by four by four, cause that looked pretty good. And we can just adjust our radius and our strength, and that's gonna change how thick it is and how much pull there is. Now our other option on our Meta Ball tag, if we go to type, is this triangle. And this will basically take any object and let it work in a Meta Ball system. So if we grabbed another object, let's just say this figure, dropped it in here, put that on there. Look at that, we get this blobby little figure going on. Let's just delete that for now. So you can do some pretty interesting things. So you can get these gooey animations of these spheres dropping onto everything. Now, if we do an area render, you'll notice it looks a little weird. The texture is getting a little off and there's a new setting on our Meta Ball object to deal with that. There's this accurate normal switch. And if we check that, it's gonna fix that issue. And then on any of these, if we want to create some gooey animation, we could just keyframe position and rotation and have this move around a little bit and then we're gonna get this animation of it kind of sucking and pulling the parts. And if we take a look at this project file I started with, we have this cool little animation utilizing some of this stuff with our Meta Ball tag set to line and the things moving on position and rotation. So it's a fun little update. And if you wanna check out more of my Cinema 4D R17 updates, I've got all sorts of new videos on things like my top features, the new pen tool, the take system, which is a big one, and all sorts of new stuff. So be sure to check those out by clicking on those thumbnails. You can learn more about some R17 features. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Frangella. And if you have any new features you want to learn more about or ask questions, you can let me know on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella, and you can hashtag those R17. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.
Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.